Communities affected by tornadoes and floods depend on help from groups like the American Red Cross. As Gentile Neal reports, the Red Cross has opened many doors for a local woman who's encouraging others to lend a helping hand. When there is flooding or when your home is destroyed, the American Red Cross is there to help out, but they can't do it by themselves. It needs volunteers committed to service like Joan Meinke. Red Cross opened the door and here we are. Joan Meinke, who is the Regional Health Service Advisor, says now is a great time to step up to the plate to help families in mid-Michigan, especially if you're a health care professional. Nurses that, are, that have licenses, EMTs, paramedics, uh, CNAs, we, our need, my need for the region is individuals that are licensed in those fields. Meinke's passion for helping those in need started with the American Red Cross and her volunteering since her various places across the country. 9-11 was my first deployment um, and I've also done the Alabama tornadoes, Joplin, uh, floods in Tennessee and, and Ohio, as well as the wildfires and most recently the tornadoes in Georgia. Jones says this organization survives off of the help of regular American people, and she wants to help as many people as they can. The American Red Cross is not funded by the government, but the, uh, we rely on and we're funded through the generosity of the American people. And I think getting the word out of what the Red Cross does in our local community as well as nationwide is really important. In Lansing, Gentil Nil, Fox 47 News. To learn how you can become a Red Cross volunteer, just head to our website, fox47news.com.